When an income property is sold, the new buyer is entitled to the rent for the days that they will have ownership within the month. The title company will prorate the rent by day and then debit the seller and credit the buyer the appropriate amount of money. Let's take a look at how this works. A rental property generates $1,200 per month in rent and the property is closing on the 10th of June. It's important to note that June has 30 days. The first step is to determine the daily rental rate. To do that, we take the monthly rent of $1,200 and divide it by 30, the number of days in June, to get $40 of rent per day. Step two is to determine how many days in June belong to the buyer and how many belong to the seller. As a rule of thumb, the day of closing always belongs to the buyer unless the test question tells you otherwise. Since the closing is on the 10th, the seller owns the property from the 1st through the 9th, which is nine days. The buyer will own the property from the 10th through the end of the month. 30 days minus nine equals 21 days. Step three is to multiply the daily rent by the number of buyer days. This gets us $840, which will be credited to the buyer and debited from the seller. Now it's your turn. The scheduled closing date for a duplex is October 12th. The rent collected per unit was $1,000. The day of closing belongs to the buyer. Calculate the rent proration. Hit pause and come up with your answer. When you're done, press play for the solution. All right, how did you do? Did you get $1,290.40 debit seller credit buyer? Well, here's the solution. The first step is to determine the total amount of rent collected. Since the landlord collected $1,000 per unit, and this is a duplex meaning two units, the landlord collected a total of $2,000 in rent. We then take the $2,000 divided by 31 days to get a daily rent of $64.52. Next, we need to determine the buyer days. There are 31 days in October and the seller owned the property for 11 days. Therefore, there are 20 buyer days. Lastly, we take the 20 buyer days, multiply it by $64.52 to get a total of $1,290.40, debit the seller and credit the buyer. There you have it, calculating rent prorations for closing. Be sure to check out our other real estate math whiteboard videos on YouTube and Facebook. And don't forget to hit subscribe to find out when we post more.